Well, forget about the universe for a moment, and let's just look at this piece of wire. Now, from very far away, this wire would look like it's one-dimensional. In that, for instance, if a little ant was living on it, you'd say, well, it can move left and right along the wire, but that's it. There's only one possibility. Yeah. But then as you get closer to the wire, you realize that there's a second curled up circular dimension, the circular girth of the right. wire. Right. And therefore, our microscopic ant can not only go back and forth, it can also walk around the wire, yeah. a second curled up dimension. And what this little example alerts us to is that dimensions come in two varieties. They can be obvious and long and easy to see, or they can be tiny and curled up and more difficult to detect, like the circular girth of the wire. Now, what the idea is, according to string theory, is that the fabric of the universe is much like this piece of wire, and that there are the familiar dimensions that you refer to, left, right, back, forth, up and down, and also time, but there can be additional dimensions that are tightly curled up, like the circular girth of the wire, and are so small that we haven't seen them yet because we don't have sufficient magnifying instruments to actually peer down into the nooks and crannies of the spatial fabric and see these extra dimensions. But string theory says that they absolutely have to be there. There are at least six, as you mentioned, and quite possibly seven that are curled up into the fabric of the universe.